Hattaker from Yellow Room Recording in Portland, Oregon. When you get your tracks back after having sent them off to be mixed, they may be perfect or there may be a few changes that you want to make. Most mixing engineers will include at least a couple revisions in their fee. There are a few things you can do to make this revision process go as smoothly as possible. Start by listening to the reference tracks that you sent to the mixer. Then go through and listen to all of your mixes all the way through on multiple different systems that you're familiar with, like your car stereo, your home stereo, your laptop, and your headphones, and make notes on all of those. Also, listen at multiple different volume levels, because your ears will perceive things differently depending on how loud the music is. When you listen to things several times in a row, it's easy to lose perspective pretty quickly. So take breaks. You're going to get the most information the first time that you listen through a song in a listening session. There may be something the first time through that you hate, second time you don't mind it as much, third time you might not even notice it, but then when you go away from it for a while and come back, it may stick out to you just as much. So give yourself a few days for this process. When you're taking notes, make a separate list for each system you're listening on. Then be specific and descriptive. You don't need to try to use industry terminology or lingo, just clearly state what you hear. Using plain English is best because some lingo may mean something different to you than it does to your mixer. Just try to be very clear about what you mean. After you make notes on each system, figure out exactly what you want and put together your final list of changes to send to the mixer. I find it much more helpful when clients point out problems rather than offer solutions, so I'd much prefer someone to say that the attack on the snare seems overly aggressive than to say, I think the snare needs more compression. The actual solution might be that the snare needs less compression and we're just going to end up chasing our tails. It's much easier to sort out an issue when we know what we're actually trying to address. Definitely not everyone will agree with me on this, but I like it much better when clients refer to a specific spot in a song by section rather than in minutes and seconds. I put markers in for each section so it's easier for me to find it if you tell me that you want to bring up the volume on the phrase wife to see that's about a third of the way through verse 2 than if you tell me it's at a minute and 33 seconds. All your kids wife to see. Then I can quickly find it and turn it up. All your kids wife to see. It's a small thing, but those small things can add up to save me a lot of time. And the more efficient I can be, the easier it is for me to do a good job. So it's worth asking your mixer what their preference is. Most importantly, you hired this person for a reason. So their opinions are valuable and should absolutely be taken into account. On the other hand, this is your project. You're the one that's going to live with it. So all the final decisions are yours. Don't feel like you need to defer to somebody else just because they have more experience than you. You're paying for it. So be sure you get what you want. <laughs>